Hi folks, this is your old pal Uncle Al. Not feeling too hot today, so I do have my bucket of signs and stuff. But it's a short one. I tried out a new medication and I had some reactions to it, so my family put me into bed. Okay, this time instead of little kids vomiting on an old Uncle Al, old Uncle Al bazooka vomited all over the little kids which scared the hell out of them and scared the adults too because I was, couldn't stop for five minutes and it's like you know they freak out they're all worried about N19 Carnova virus or something and they're not, like I'm fine I'm going back to work eat lunch with the family and they all freak out Okay, I just vomited a little bit. I tried this new uh, medication. I gotta go back to work. No, you're going to bed. You're too old and you're too beat up and you're half blind. I gotta take off this hat. Uh, and they're t telling me all about this stuff all over the place. And, you know, I should take it easy because of all the damage to my body. And the whole cat says I shouldn't make videos when I'm stoned. And I checked my meds, it worked them, except for the new one, which was a new injectable. Please check out Hubble's Cat videos. Okay, really good. Ugh. Especially on the coronavirus. And he works at a hospital, he knows what he's talking about. And he covers basic knowledge things. Now, both me and Hubble's, we don't sell anything. Okay? We don't make any profit on our videos. If I can see right there. Okay. All right. We don't make profit. I don't do nickel and dime stuff. I get a lot of phone calls from a lot of people and also emails telling me I can make big bucks reviewing their products. And I write very politely English, Chinese, Korean, sometimes once or twice in Russian. No, I don't do that stuff. Okay, now, a lot of fear is going on, you know, I like um, Harshman Hill's video, yes, and I couldn't say that too much, I tell everybody to watch the original um, Survivors, it's an old British TV show, I know Hubble's remember that, back in the 70s. Where everybody died from a pandemic flu. Ugh, Uncle Al is not feeling too hot. And I'm still getting over the first dose of this stuff, the injectable. It's not completely out of my system. So I think that's caused it. I don't think it's the virus because self quarantine hasn't go down to junk food or eaten out or contact with mass groups of people except for my family. And I know what's going on with them. Now, nice thing about having my family around, big number one factor in my life, I sleep well at night, is I own a lot of things under my name. And if I die, they really get screwed in probate. So Uncle Alan may be broke as hell, blind, crippled up. But if he dies, they're all in hell for the next two and a half years. <laughs> Little humor there, Hubbles. <coughs> <coughs> so anyway, not a kimono, just my bathrobe. I would like to bring up a few other things. <coughs> That's personal awareness and cultural awareness. Now, a lot of you jokers out there in the prepping community make crude and bad jokes to other people in the world. Doesn't matter which country, Korea, China, Japan, Vietnam, made really nasty and racist jokes. Not everybody eat dog or bat or rat or anything like that. Uncle Alan does because I lived the lifestyle, went around the world four times, and I lived the lifestyle. I know why they do that. A lot of you haven't traveled out of your home area or your little bubble for the last 50 or 40 years. So you have no idea what's going on. 
I might be dated and I might be half blind because the doctors want me to wear this when I go outside. No, I can't see anything. That's why I run into everything and putting medication into my eye four times a day. And they tell me I look fine. I don't feel good. That's recovering from the major eye surgery. Right. But I will survive. I always survive. Okay? Now, cultural awareness is not what the woke, crazy woke people said. I'm an Indian. No. Co a cult, a cultural awareness is understanding that culture and possibly learning to speak the language. Okay? Second is personal awareness. Everybody's still in that little bubble space. Okay? The trouble with that bubble space is it's going to get you killed. You better wake up and pull your, like David Lynn said, very wise person from Texas, pull your head out of there. Okay? And look around and listen. That's the biggest thing. I always listen. I might talk and stuff like that and I do get corrected on a few things and I correct back really harsh now I told people not to panic buy and everybody says how wonderful this mask was by this one company well they had a purge well they don't say a purge but certain people in certain industries in China got arrested because the first responders the nurses and medical and fire department were suffering horrible scarring from the mask and they're trying to figure out what was causing it and constant wearing and stuff and also harsh chemicals main culprit was copper and citric acid all right and they pinpointed this and that's why you're not getting certain types of masks out of China because it caused chemical burns on the face if you constantly wear it constantly abuse it and once you break the skin like I was cat said okay, you got an entry point for infection now right now how the virus gets in through opening from your mouth nose eyes ears I have to be doubly careful because I have eye surgery and I have to be extra careful like scrubbing my hands in hot water and soap because I can't see it Great, bad keys and going blind, can't see anything. Uh, I usually have one or two bottles of Purex around here. I can't even find that. Oh, there it is. My family says I'm ground and blind, can't see anything. I can see up to three feet, not too clear, but I can see it. Okay, bad thing about these things, like Hubble's cat is, it's good for 15 20 seconds to kill any virus on the skin but the problem is after a while it does build up on layers and you whatever grime you have is covered with that so so often after you use this and if you have a chance wash your hands for five ten minutes in hot water and a good soap okay simple common logic now before I go I think I got the right one. Please check out these people right here. Now, don't believe all the stuff of the hype and panic. We got four more weeks to go. Hong Kong is not going to die. It's probably having a reaction. It's not the virus because I know, because half my nephews and my nieces are screaming at me. Go check out these people right here. worried about I'm glad I'm fine just a little tired I sometimes I push myself too hard okay and I'll catch you later folks